Number eight, find an equivalent equation and rectangular coordinates. So remember from earlier, rectangular, a rectangle has a length and a width, also known as an x and a y. And so we're going to try to turn this to an uh, x and a y. Uh, now, here we have an equation. It's in polar form because we have an r and theta. And so we have four different uh, formulas that we could look at. If we could either be using x equals r cosine theta, y equals r sine theta. We could have tangent theta equals y over x. All this comes from psi y cos x. Tangent is y over x. Or we could use the Pythagorean theorem, which is that x squared plus y squared equals our radius squared. So I'm given this formula, and I want to convert it to one of these. Now, as I look at this, I notice there are a few things. That sine theta is really sticking out. If I look up here, there's a formula with r sine together. Now, some people are going to think, oh, well, let's divide the r. But it's not r divided by sine. It's r times sine. So really what I have to do is I need to multiply by r on both sides of this equation. What happens now is I do have r squared on the left, and on the right I now have what I was looking for, 10r sine theta. At this stage, I can substitute. I say, oh, r sine theta is what is equal to y. That's equal to y there. So that's 10y. And r squared, as it turns out, is a different formula. It's over here. r squared is equal to x squared plus y squared. So we now have this equation which that is actually listed as an answer choice. Um, that's listed as A. So our answer here would be A. Now, honestly, that's not the best form of writing this. If you wanted the best form, what we would do, as we learned earlier, is we put x squared plus y squared. And you move the 10y over, so you've got a negative 10y. You'd leave a blank, and we would need to complete the square. And so here, what I've done is I moved the 10y over, you would take this down, and you'd have negative 10 divided by 2, which is equal to negative 5. You would square that, so it's negative b, or it's the b divided by 2, then squared, which gives us 25. If you add 25 on the left, you need to add 25 on the right. I'm just doing this to show you good math. This is the best way of writing this. This would be a circle with the equation x squared, and then this trinomial here becomes y minus 5 quantity squared, and that would equal... 25. That's actually the best way of writing this. This is a circle shifted up five units with a radius of five when you take the square root. Problem nine. We have x squared plus y squared equals 169. This time, it's the same type problem, but we want it in polar coordinates, which means in terms of r and theta. So we're going to use the same four formulas. We have x squared plus y squared equals 169. Well, right away, I can see that x squared plus y squared, that's a formula. That's equal right here. This is equal to r squared. So r squared equals 169. As I look at my answers, I don't see that anywhere up there. Do not do not get fooled by this. But I do see these are all r's by themselves. So what I can do is I would take the square root. Now, normally in mathematics, we would, anytime you add a square root that's not originally there, you do plus or minus. But for polar, it doesn't matter because this is just saying it's a circle that's 13 units of round. The square root of 169 is 13. And so C would be our answer here. Now, before we finish up, surely there's a way to check these in the calculator. And there is. So we'll first try R equals 10 sine and theta. That was in polar. So if I go over here, I go menu, graph entry, I'm going to choose polar. And it was 10 sine theta. And press enter, and we got this graph here. Now, I want to check it to see if x squared plus y squared equals 10y is the same graph. Now, how do I do that? That was a conic section, so I can go menu, graph entry, choose equation. I'm going to go to conic, and choose general, and we'll check it to test our answer. Now, I'm going to uh, type this in. We had 1x squared. We did not have an xy. We had 1y squared. No x's, but we did have a negative 10y when we moved it over. And we had nothing that was by itself. I press enter. Notice it's the exact same uh, circle. So we did do that one correctly. Now let's try this one. It says x squared plus y squared equals 169. And so let's try that. So this time, let me clear this out. I'll go menu, 
Oops. Let me go to graph first. Menu. Graph entry. If I don't know what it is under equation, I would choose conic. But we know this one's a circle, so I'll just go ahead and choose circle. And it was basically given in this form right here. We had no shifts with x, no shifts with y. And this number, they didn't say it is something squared. It just put 169. So since there's a squared there, I'll do square root 169. Make sure we don't make any human errors. I press enter, and I don't see it here. And it's just because this is a little bit too big for our graph. So I'm going to zoom out. There it is. And so now we're going to check it with our answer. So I'm going to go menu, graph entry, controller, and we had r equals 13. And so when I type this in here, press enter, notice it's the exact same graph. So we did do them correctly.